I was sent the script and I turned it down. I was pretty hot. And uh, so uh, my wife, Carol, my second wife and I were uh, in our car driving to our house in Abagansett at the end of Long Island. We had a house there. Uh, and uh, she said, what about that script you read today? I said, I had to turn it down. He said, why? I said, well, I don't know. I just uh, I didn't think it was very good. He said, what was it about? Well, I started to tell her what it was about. I started to tell her the story. And I stopped. <laughs> and she said, Hal. I said, yeah. I'm just thinking, this is not so bad, is it? <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> yeah. Now, when we get to our house, I want you to get on the phone and call your agent in California and pray to God he hasn't turned the job over to somebody else. So I did. I got on the phone and I called up and, uh, oh, and she'd also said, who's, who's the other guy? I said, Marty Sheen. And she said, Hal Holbrook. <laughs> So, uh, so that's how I that's how I did it because I, I I tell you the truth. When I read the script, I didn't think anything happened. There was nothing happened. I just didn't get it. Well, it was uh, it turned out to be a very uh, prominent and uh, uh, quite a powerful. And you know, in those days, you have to it's time yourself. In those days, back then, homosexuality was not talked about. I mean, you did this and today, it's uh, no, 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 you did not talk about it. Oh, quite. And uh, this was a big thing uh, for them to put on. There's a principle here, and the principle is what attracted me. And uh, the principle of Fair play, honesty, decency. That's it, kid. You know, we're all human. So uh, when I, I, said, I, I got on the phone, I called my agent, and, and I took the job. Well, of course, it turned out to be, naturally, you know, you know it's, it's like anything else that showed me. It's like, oh my God, what? I, they, I, oh my God. You know, suddenly, we're the biggest thing around. Oh, we've just been discovered. Oh, oh God, oh. It's so phony. So we, we were a knockout. Me and Marty, <laughs> we were like, well, nobody, I mean, we were very daring. We were, you know, so it was a big hit. And not only that, you know, by the time we did this show, by the time we, we didn't play a couple of gay guys. You know, I mean, we, we, we did the show, me and Marty, we, we, we were a couple actors. We're, 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 we vaguely knew each other. We're a couple of actors, that's all. We played human beings. We knew a lot of people who were gay. They're a friend. I mean, 85% of my friends are gay. They just are. So, I, I mean, for a long time, I didn't even know half of them were. I didn't know it. So uh, this was an interesting experience. And the interesting also in how the, the subject of the people were perceived by the, by the public. I mean, the, the whole point was to show people on television that these guys were simply human beings. They were human people. They were decent people. They were whatever you call it. They were okay. They were human beings trying to live their lives. 
So they're homosexuals, so what? And uh, it, 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 it uh, you know, I've had people, not anymore, it's been so long, but for quite a long time, I, I would have people stop me on the street sometime, once in a while, and just thank me. That meant a lot. It meant a lot. Well, you feel you could do something for people who are not given a, 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 a good shot, you know. Uh, that's something special. One really good feeling is to, is, is to feel that you were chosen to do something that had meaning, and you try to do it well, and people uh, took it in. That is worth it. That's when um, our profession becomes something better than just being an actor.